hello everyone you're welcome back to my channel so today i made a very special ozza soup and i use very simple recipes that you can find in any african market showing on the screen right now are the list of ingredients that i used in making this soup and it came out so nice and yummy guys you can't even afford to miss this so i started by roasting my fresh fish so i actually started with it because it takes a lot of time it can take up to one hour so next i cooked my goat meat i poured it into this pot then i seasoned it thoroughly so i cooked my meat until it got soft i actually love soft meat so you can cook yours as you wish so i seasoned it with three stock cubes one tablespoon of salt and medium sized onion so after about 10 minutes as you can see it's already boiling very well so i poured in my washed dry fish guys don't forget to wash your dry fish properly because it has traveled a lot of distance after cooking for some minutes then i poured in my sliced omo and stockfish guys earlier on i forgot to add omo in the list of ingredients i used for this soup pardon me please Then I added in some water to help cook the stock fish thoroughly. If this is your first time of visiting my channel, please hit the subscribe button to join my online family. I share very healthy meal recipes three times every week. So back to my fish, as you can see, it's still roasting and looking yummy already. So I allowed it to dry some more meanwhile this my meat is already done then i separated it in a different pot so right now i'm going to pour in my snail already washed snails notice that i allowed my meat and fish to be properly boiled before adding the snail I intentionally did this because I wanted my snail to still be crunchy after the whole soup is done. I added in some water to help cook the snail. Then next I poured in some salt. Then I poured in some palm oil. Then afterwards, I'm going to cover the pot and allow it to cook. At this point, my fish was already roasted, so I poured it inside the pot of soup. When you allow your palm oil to cook properly, it helps to give the soup a better taste. So after cooking mine for like 10 minutes, I added the quantity of water I want for my soup. Then I covered and allowed it to cook and blend properly. Afterwards, I added three stock cubes. You can also add to your taste. Then this is my cocoa yam. Of course, I cooked and pounded my cocoa yam to get this. This cocoa yam is a thickening agent, so you can add as many as you want according to the consistency of your choice. Then I added my salt after turning the cocoa yam. Then I poured in lots of crayfish. Like this is almost the secret of this soup. Add as much crayfish as possible. Mm -hmm. 
you can see the soup is getting thick already but the cocoa yam is still visible so i'm going to cover and allow it to boil for more minutes after about five minutes i poured in my washed pairing because guys the aroma of this soup is out of this world like <laughs> If you're a lover of African dishes, please support this channel by subscribing. I post lots of Nigerian soups. I also teach how to make different types of swallows, ranging from eba, fufu, plantain swallow, pounded yam, amala, and even many more. After boiling thoroughly, I poured in my blended scotch bonnet pepper. So this soup was like, it was so delicious that every single person that tested this soup complimented this so greatly. So guys, at this point, you're just going to test and make sure all your salt, your stock cubes, your pepper, everything is in a very good proportion. Then I added the odogu of all of them, the last but not the least, my ozeza leaves. Notice that I off the heat immediately I poured in these leaves. This is to make the soup to look as fresh as possible. If you've been looking forward to cook some African delicacies for yourself or for your family, for your visitors, guys, I greatly recommend this soup. It's so nice and everyone is going to definitely love it. So now my Oziza soup is ready. Oziza or Kokoyam soup is ready and looking yummy already. So guys, just follow exactly this recipe. No other recipe is recommended. Welcome everyone to my YouTube channel. Please like, comment and subscribe. So today I'm going to show you the whole recipes that I used for this vegetable soup. Trust me, this soup is so, so delicious. So this is my vegetable soup with pounded yam. So you have to follow the step-by-step -step recipes that I used in putting this together. Watch till the end. So these are all the ingredients that I will need today. This is my water leaf. This is my ogu leaf. This is the onion. I will use one bowl of onion. My stock fish, crayfish and pepper, broker fish, this is the goat meat and omo I will use. This is my snail. Okay, let's start. I'm going to start by cooking my meat and the omo with the stock fish. Later, that's when I will add my fish and the snail because i don't want the fish to be too soft including my snail i would like it to be crunchy so i'll spice up my meat with one stock cube salt to paste and onions when my meat is boiling i'm going to blend this crayfish and pepper See the meat is boiling. 
is like after about five minutes so i will now pour my snail my coca fish and my blended green fish and fresh pepper and at this point you just have to put everything inside the whole stock juice or sauce or pepper that you use for the food so why the meat is cooking i'm going to cook this yam it is after about 10 minutes so I'm going to add my red oil. So I've added all the necessary ingredients. I'll just cover it for more 20 minutes. Okay. As you can see, the yam is now very soft. So that if I blend it, it's going to be smooth. Okay. Let's check out the oil. Wow. The oil has cooked. The way I want it. So I'm going to start putting my vegetables. So I'll start with my water leaf. So why I added my water leaf first is because, as you all know, water leaf has more water, more than oil leaf. So I want the water to dry up a bit before I can add my oil leaf. So you can see the soup is almost set. The aroma is so nice. Okay. So I'm about to add the last but not the least ingredients. That's my ugu leaf. Remember, you have to wash your leaves properly before slicing. So this is my sliced oko leaves. Once I pour it in this soup, I'll just off my fire immediately. Okay, I'll off the fire. My vegetable soup is ready. Thank you for watching till the end. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys. For my okaze and otazi soup, I use very simple recipes that you can easily find in the market. Just make sure you watch till the end. This soup is very nice. You know those type of soup you make and your neighbors will want to come and greet you by force. So this is one of them. Everyone, watch how I made this delicious soup. It was so nice, so yummy. For this soup, I'm going to be using my banga juice, diluted water from the banga first. So I'm going to be cooking with this using my dry fish. This is the cooked meat I'll be using. My stock fish, onions, scotch bonnet peppers, grounded crayfish. To be using Oziza and Otazi leaves, stuff kills and salt. So, I'm going to put my banga juice on the fire because it takes a lot of time to thicken up. When the banga is on the fire, I'm going to cook the meat.
hold my goat meat very soft and cook yours for lesser minutes if you don't like very soft goat meat okay so at this point i'm going to add my stock fish and allow it to get as thick as you want so let's check our soup so I love this consistency now I'm going to add my ozeza and otase so nice so yummy hello everyone you're welcome to my youtube channel please like comment and subscribe if you are a newcomer so this is my okra soup I'm going to show you how I made this sweet, delicious okra soup. Just make sure you watch till the end. So these are all the ingredients that I will need for this my okra soup. This is the okra I'll be using. This is my okra leaf, my meat, this is goat meat and omo. This is my snail, my ice fish, this is my crayfish and fresh pepper my salt and stock cubes 
start by boiling this goat meat and omo. I'll spice it up. My onions. So I'm going to boil my meat and omo first of all. So after some while, like five minutes, I'm going to add my fresh fish and the snail. Salt. I'll settle after five minutes. So I'll add my snail. My ice fish. Right, let's check our uh, meat. This is exactly after 10 minutes. So as you can see, it's okay now. So I'll open my fire now so that I can bring out this meat. After that, I'll start frying my okra. I love that frying method. It's so nice and tasty. You should try this frying method. Start by placing an empty pot on the fire. Allow it to dry before putting my oil. Okay, after adding my oil, I'll now allow it to bleach. I'll just start immediately. This is my onions. My sliced okra. If you are worried about the size, you can slice your okra. It's a more smaller piece. So I'll just allow it for like two minutes. I want it to fry without turning it. There is a unique taste you will get when you use mortar to pound your crayfish and pepper. As I do not pound it much because I love the, the sight of fresh pepper in my soup. So I'm going to fry all of them together. Five minutes later, I'm going to add my stove. With my goat meat, the bomo, and the snow. This frying method it gives the soko soup a very special aroma taste. So at this point now, I'll just cover it and allow it to boil all over. Okay. Stock cubes. My salt. So this is after 5 minutes. Let's check our soup. Wow. Very nice. Wow. The aroma is out of this world. 
and notice I did not add my fish earlier on that's because I didn't want the fish to scatter so this is the proper time for me to add it since I already spiced off the fish earlier on so even if I add it at this point, it will still have a very good taste. As you can see, our soup is getting ready. Okay, as you can see, the soup is already boiling. So I'm now just add my sliced ovo leaves. Remember to wash the ogoli very well before slicing. After pouring my leaf, I'll just go ahead and off this fire. Because I want my leaves to still look fresh. So the soup is ready. As you can see the soup is looking so nice and yummy. So you can eat your opera soup with any swallow of your choice. Hello everyone, you're welcome to Zini's Kitchen. Thank you for stopping by. So today I'm going to show you how I made my delicious ofako. Please make sure you watch till the end. Like, comment and subscribe. I'm going to show you how I put this together. The soup is so nice. If you are looking for a delicious soup with easy recipes to make for your family, this is a very good one. So just make sure you watch till the end how I made my sweet ofako. So for this our banga soup, you know the banga is the one that takes more of the time. So I'm going to start with it first of all. I'm going to start by boiling it. Then I will extract the the oil from this banga fruits. Let me start by boiling it. This is the oil from the pan fruits after boiling and squeezing them out. So I'm going to start boiling because this is the part that takes most of the time in this soup. I really need to boil it until it gets thick. So while boiling this, I'll start preparing the other ingredients. These are all the ingredients that I will need for this my offer. This is my fresh pepper, this is my dried fish, my goat meat, my stock fish, this crayfish, just have to add a lot of it, that's the secret to this offer. This is my salt, stock cube and obey, my onions, I'm going to cook the meat. The stock fish and the dry fish. So I'll add my seasoning to the meat. This is stock cubes. Salt and onions. Just add a little water. And we are good to go. So I'll start cooking it. Allow to cook for some minutes. Let's go back to our banga. Wow.
we still have a long way to go because this this water has to thicken up. So why the meat is boiling? Let me get all the ingredients ready. This is my crayfish. I'm going to wash and pound my crayfish and fresh pepper. To wash your crayfish very well because it has traveled a long way. It's a special aroma you get when you pound your crayfish and your fresh pepper with mortar instead of using grinder. This is different. I didn't want to pound it until it's thoroughly smooth, but I prefer it like this. So I'm going to add it to this soup. after like 13 minutes and it's still water <laughs> that's why i said this is the major part the soup needs to get thick so i'll still cover it for it to continue boiling i'm going to blend my obe to add the blended obe inside the soup please watch this video till the end i promise you're going to learn one new thing so i'll add my sliced onions over and allow it to continue boiling okay let's check our meat it's a bit soft now i don't want it to be completely soft so i'm going to off the fire So I'll be adding this meat into the soup. So at this juncture, I'm going to off the fire. Okay, so let's check our soup again. As you can see, it is becoming more thick. So I'm going to allow it to cook for 10 minutes more before adding my meat. So I'm going to pick my scent leaves. You know you can use any leaf of your choice, but 
I love using scent lip. So I'm going to wash and slice these scent leaves. You don't have to pack too much of it. So this one is okay. This one is okay. So I just have to wash, slice it. So after washing my scent leaf, I'm going to slice them. Remember that it's good to wash your vegetables first before slicing. If you love this video please subscribe to my youtube channel i also want to hear your opinions in the comment sessions i do want to slice it more than this so it's okay like this I didn't have much leaf. I didn't want to pack the whole set leaf inside the soup. So this quantity is okay. Or if you are a lover of fresh leaves, you can still pack your own. It's after 10 minutes. Let's check our soup. Wow. As you can see, it's getting thicker. So I'm going to add my meat. Fish, my stock fish, everything together. Remember, I did not cook it until it gets so soft. The meat was not soft, it was just I cooked it for some minutes. I made sure it was still strong because when I add it to I know I was going to add it to this soup and it will still get more soft so I wouldn't want it to be a too soft so at this point I'll add the remaining ingredients that's my stock fuse and salt so I'll cover it and allow it to get more thick And notice from the beginning to the end of the soup, I didn't add any thickener. I'm just going to continue cooking this until it gets thick by itself. I don't need to add anything to make it thick. If you allow the soup to get thick by itself, that's when you get the correct test. Just cover and allow it to boil all over. For like 30 minutes. You know, this soup needs a lot of patience. So, this is exactly 30 minutes time. Let's check our soup. Wow! Finally, stick. My god, the aroma for this soup is so so nice. Like, <laughs> everybody might never do this. So the secret of this soup is patience. You just have to have a lot of patience. Allow the soup to tick. That's when you can enjoy the soup. As you can see, it's obvious that it's thick now.
the test is so nice please if you like this video click on the subscribe button So since we are good to go, I'm going to add my scent leaf. You know, the leaf is always the last ingredient. My sofaco is ready. You can eat this sofaco with anything, any swallow of your choice. This banga soup. Some people also love eating it with rice. It's your choice. So my ofako is finally ready. It's time to dish it. Thank you for watching up to this point. So this is how my ofako came out. This is the outcome. You can eat it with any swallow of your choice. It's so nice. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching till the end. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in my next video. Thank you. welcome to Zimi's kitchen so if this is your first time of visiting my channel you are welcome I totally appreciate it I promise you're going to learn one or two things new skills added to the one you know already I'm going to prepare a special delicacy I'll prepare obono soup this one is not your regular obono soup this is obono soup boomers that's what I'm going to prepare today so guys, just stay tuned and follow every single step I used. I'm going to have a perfect obono soup. So even if you know how to prepare obono soup before, trust me, you will learn a different skill that you're going to use. You will learn a different method that you're going to use to prepare it and it will give you a very perfect taste. If you're also a lover of Nigerian foods, this video is for you just follow the whole recipes that i used in putting all this together it came out so perfectly and my family love this so much so guys just stay tuned so i use very simple recipes that you can find in any african market my seasoning cubes sliced onions a spoon of salt scotch bonnet peppers dry bitter leaf my stock fish and my dry fish so this is my grounded crayfish, my periwinkle, the grounded obono, I'm using 2 cups of obono, this is my obono, my goat meat. So this is the palm oil I'm going to use today. Now I'm going to start by mixing this red oil into this grounded obono. Meanwhile, I grinded my obono with some crayfish. So I mixed everything thoroughly and allowed it to marinate for some time. So I started by cooking my meat, then my sliced bomo, stock fish. So I seasoned it with half tablespoon of salt, two seasoning cubes, sliced onions. Then I poured in my water to help it cook very well. I actually wanted my meat to be very soft. This is after about 10 minutes of cooking, then I came back and added my dry fish. I didn't add it earlier because I wouldn't want it to scatter in the soup. So next I added in my grinded scotch bonnet peppers. Guys, I always love to add much pepper in my omono soups. But if you're not a lover of pepper like I am, then you can add a very little quantity. I covered and allowed it to simmer for 5 minutes, then I came back and added my grounded crayfish. 
next i add in my perinco then i fold in my remaining palm oil you know i used to have for feet to mist my obono so my soup is looking very yummy already so i came back and poured in my already mist obono Then I gave it a very good mix while being careful not to scatter any of the fishes. So after cooking for about 10 minutes, my obono soup is almost ready. So next, I just sprayed my dry bitter leaf all over the obono soup. Then I gave it a very good mix and after about 2 minutes, I brought down my soup. Guys, it was so delicious. Please everyone, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to see more healthy recipes. So I served my obono soup with unripe plantain swallow. Guys, this unripe plantain swallow has a lot of health benefits. You can check my previous post to see how I made this most nutritious unripe plantain swallow. So guys, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.